I have come down with some exquisitely bad food poisoning two days ago, and my voice is still messed up from that. So I apologize for the sound of my voice, but I wanted to go through my first impressions on my new seat of 3D experience from Dassault Systems. I recall seeing an interview with, uh, I think it was Bernard Charles, on uh, SolidWorks and 3D Experience, and he described the user interface of 3D Experience being like a Facebook environment. And uh, I think if you approach the environment like it's Facebook, it's a lot more simple. I think what SolidWorks is going for here is having this function not only as a online modeling platform, but as a PLM software that allows you to have one seat that controls both PLM and modeling, so you don't have to have a supplementary license of, say, Windchill or Agile or uh, Siemens Team Center. And that's how this is functioning. So, like Facebook, it opens up to almost like a wall, right? This is a forum uh, where people post problems and questions and things like that. And uh, this compass is actually closed when you first open it up. So you have all of these what you call dashboards down here. And uh, you also have notifications. And you can see these notifications added up uh, pretty quickly over here. But sometimes it takes a long time to load notifications. The way that this is laid out, how to navigate the 3D Experience platform, is you click on this compass over here, and you're given uh, roles. And some of these roles are um, you know, part of your seat. Some roles are assigned to you by an administrator. Since I own my own seat, um, this is everything. I have 3D Creator, which includes X-Design. This is a modeler that is, uh, I think, going to be the equivalent of SolidWorks on the cloud. And uh, that's under the role of 3D Creator. Yeah, we also have 3D Sculptor. And that uh, encompasses X-Shape. X-Shape is modeling like Blender or Design Spark. Uh, it's less parametric. <coughs> and it's more freeform. So if you've ever used a freeform surface in SolidWorks or done Blender, you see that this is not really parametric. Uh, I have less interest in it personally. Uh, you have some business type roles, and I think that's more for the PLM stuff, which I'm not really gonna get into because I don't collaborate with anyone on my channel. Uh, let's go with uh, Mechanical and Shape Designer. And uh, this is actually Katia powered. So if you come down here to Part Design, this is the modeler for Katia. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll go through another video some of the details and potential problems that I'm seeing with this Katia on the cloud. And if I go back to my roles, you have Platform Manager again. Uh, not something that I'm going to use very much on this channel because I have no need. I'm just an individual. If I go to 3D Creator and give you kind of a sample of what X Design on the cloud looks like. And you can see it takes a little while to load, but we're going to add in a new component. Uh, we're going to call this, uh, if I can type, and now we wait for the experience. Here it is. Uh, so just like SolidWorks, right, you choose a plane, you choose a sketch, and then we are free to sketch. Now the constraints work a lot like SolidWorks. Uh, when I want to highlight multiple entities, I don't use control, I use the shift key. And uh, then possible relations come up uh, a lot like in SolidWorks. So uh, you have a, a D hot key like D for dimension, which assigns you know dimension values. And uh, just like in SolidWorks, you can merge these together. Um, yeah, so the, the modeling is, excuse me, a lot like SolidWorks. Pretend like that's fully constrained. For argument's sake, we'll just do a, an extrude. Your extrude menu comes up. You can have uh, solid, thin, and surface. Um, and we'll extrude that to 35 millimeters. Looks good. So that, that is really kind of what the uh, modeling environment looks like. Um, in the next video, I want to go through some of the pro problems that I'm seeing with uh, the 3D interface and how support has 
helped me and how they have not helped me as well. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.